You about to have multiple streams to pass these children, baby. Let me teach you and get your credit on track in the long run. You'll make it all back at Catalyst and watch it all cycle on your black on firm, but we ain't all black. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Constance Carter. How are you doing tonight? Come on in. Welcome. Come on in. I see y'all coming in. Y'all coming in strong and long. And you know, we are on several different platforms. You're watching the Fly Nubian Queen. Hey, Dolores, you're watching the Fly Nubian Queen, the channel, the broadcast, the network for melanated people just like you and you and you. What's up, Marie? So I wanted to come before you tonight and have a conversation with you guys. You know, I love y'all. Listen, mama is tired. I got some coffee. I'm not even a coffee drinker, but I got some coffee tonight, guys. Because you know why? I don't know if you've been watching me for a while, but I, we used to do this segment called Black Love with my homeboy, uh, Robert Antoinen. I don't know if you know him, but this dude, let me see. I don't know if you guys remember. Let me see if I can find one of the intros for Black Love. Um... <laughs> Remember that? Well, see, that's my homeboy, big bro, uh, Robert. And uh, he mentioned to me, I, 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 you know, I'm, I'm real crazy. If you go on my Facebook page, I was talking about how I be dancing at the gym. And he was like, ha ha, looks like you put on a few extra pounds. Ha ha ha. Looking a little fat. And I don't mean P-H-A-T. I mean F-A-T. So you know what I said? I said, you know what? Listen, homie, um, I am going to challenge you to a weight loss off. And so, um, so I, we are challenging each other to lose 10 pounds by Sunday. Then we start this on Monday. I'm already down four. I don't know if he's down yet, but I'm just putting him out there because he talked bad about me. I did put on a few pounds, but I'm going to lose it, but I'm exhausted doubling up at the gym. So after I, after I get off of here, I'm about to go to the gym. That's why I got this coffee right now. So I can stay up. Okay. So I can go get my workout on because guess what? It's not going to happen. He is not going to beat me. I don't lose. That's what I don't do. So I just wanted to put that out there. Now, as we, as you guys come in, I want, I want to make sure that you introduce yourself. Um, as always for me, um, this is a, a networking opportunity for you. So every time you come on and you watch me and you interact with me, know that this is a dialogue and not a monologue. So I don't want you to think that I'm just here to talk at you. We are sharing. So put where you're from in the comments. I want to acknowledge you, but I also want you to say, you know, if you're a business owner, if you have a, if you have a skill set, if you're trying to get into business, talk about what you do because you may meet your next venture um, partner here, your venture cap capital, your venture partner um, here, right here on the show. So put in the comments box what you do and somebody may uh, be able to contact you and you guys may, you know, pick up some partnership or you may be able to sell your goods or services. I always wanted to make sure, I always want to make sure there's a, it's a win-win situation for everybody. So put where you're from and then put what you do in the comments because you never know that somebody might be looking for, you know, your product or your service that you may have. So put that in the comments box. So I see you, uh, Glaxy Glam from the NC. I see uh, Nicole from the uh, Bronx. Uh, Dietrich is from Albany, New York. What's up? Tosha is from Portland. Um, Nicole says she does security. Uh, Sharon says she's from Georgia. BBB Gaines. What's up with that, BBB Gaines? You didn't say where you was from and what you do. Um, Dietrich said, I work for New York's NYS Division of Corp. Okay. Um, Leanna said, I'm, my name is Leanna. I'm from Stockton. I'm an insurance broker. I offer mortgage protection, life insurance, retirement income planning. Thank you for saying that Leanna, because last week I talked about insurance. I talked about, um, your asset protection. And one of the things that's really important when we talk about asset protection is you've got to have insurance, get your ish together. You guys, um, I really need us to, um, you know, as a people to make sure that when we die, we have a responsibility to our loved ones, not to leave them in debt, but to leave them with something. Um, the Bible says that a wise man leaves an inheritance for his children and his children's children. And I believe it's a sin before God and before man and before your children, if you leave them with nothing and you leave them in debt, that's not fair to anybody. So at least get your life insurance. Um, Leanna, how much is life insurance? Um, cause you know, I, and I'm talking about term, like really cheap life insurance where you can get, at least you can have burial or you can leave something. Um, my family, my kids, you know, I have, uh, my, my policy is over a million dollars if something happens to me and, um, I got it 
maybe 10 years ago. And uh, it's a term policy, um, but I invest my money in other resources. There are other uh, policies that you can cash out on. But if something were to happen to me prematurely, my family's taken care of. And and really, it's not that expensive. So make sure that you're, you're protecting your family and that you're not a burden on your family. So I'm glad you said that. Um, and Antonio, he's a paratransit bus driver. Um, AARP is offering great rates. Thank you for saying that. Um, Nicole said her daughter's father passed away in October 9th on their daughter's eighth birthday. Oh, I'm so sorry, Nicole. Oh, I'm so sorry. I, my condolences to you on that. Um, Jeff Basil, Switzerland, the lab technician. Welcome. I'm so glad we got somebody from across the pond tuning in Hey, to stay here. Cause I'm going to talk about some really good stuff. And he had no life insurance. And again, the worst thing that you could do is leave your family without life insurance and having them to have go raise money on GoFundMe. Thank God for GoFundMe. Cause I remember we used to do uh, fish plates and car washes and it's gotten a little bit more sophisticated than that, but do not leave your, your family with anything. I also want to invite you. Listen, I believe in multiple revenue streams. Well, let me, let me just say this real quick. I believe in multiple revenue streams, right? How many of you guys have multiple revenue streams? If you are in business for yourself or if you work for somebody else, you need to have something. Wait a minute, hold up. Kyron, I just told these boys quiet on the set and they over here playing upstairs. Can you believe that? See, this is what happened when you're on live TV. Anyway, multiple revenue streams is muy importante. So whether you work in a job or whether you have a, some type of a, a, a business, you should always have something. So whether you're investing in stock, Dr. Boyce has been really instrumental in uh, stock and helping people. He helped my son. My son was 12 years old when I bought him the Dr. Boyce walk and stop program. And now my son has a group where he teaches people. He gives stock tips. He really just gives stock tips. It's called stock tips with And um, so having some kind of other hustle, something. Um, me, I'm the type of person who, you know, I don't have the biggest ideas, but what I do have is I am an executor at heart. I'm an executor. So if somebody gives me a great idea. I'm gonna execute on it, period. Okay. So, um, somebody said, Hey, you know what? You come up with really great quotes. You should do a t-shirt line. So I did, I got like apparel. So that's, an, that's a revenue stream where I get money from every month. People buy my shirts and stuff. So I got, I just happened to have on one of my shirts today. This is wealth activists, you know, power to the people. And I talk about different investment strategies. These are different revenue streams on this shirt, but it's a dope uh, shirt. It's my first time wearing it. I wore it on, I did a photo shoot about a month or two, about two months ago. It's my first time wearing it, but it's super comfortable. So if you go to conversationtees.com, um, let me put that in the thing, conversationtees.com, you can go and um, check out some, some of my apparel, but this, these are things that you can do. Maybe you have, um, maybe you have some type of, um, uh, goods or services that you want to do, you can have things that are automated where you don't really have to do the work. I don't do anything. I created these shirts. I did it on a weekend and they sell. I sell shirts and that's a revenue stream for me. Another revenue stream for me. And again, remember, I, I don't, I'm not the big ideation person. I'm an executor. Somebody was like, you need, you should write a book. And I did. I wrote a couple of books and guess what? They're best selling books. It's crazy. Um, everybody needs, wants to know about credit. And this is what we're going to talk about tonight. But the first book I wrote, I wrote it by myself. I just GTS, Google that shit. And I went on Google and I figured out how to write my own book. I also had some help from some a, a couple of people who kind of gave me some gave me some information on how to do it. Um, but mostly most most of the most of the thing I did is I Googled it and I wrote a book and it became a bestseller. It's it's pretty amazing. So I don't ever want you to not pursue anything for fear of, of it being imperfect. This is my, I think my third or fourth rendition of this book. The first time I wrote this book, you guys, I was promoting it before I even seen it. So I was sending it, I, I had made it for sale before I even got the proof. And I was like, <gasps> I mean, all kind of grammatical errors. It was ugly. It was hella thin. It was too, it was too tall. It was just, it was horrible. It was a horrible, horrible, you know, first rendition. It wasn't a good reflection. And uh, I wouldn't do that today, but I learned. But if I was afraid of making a mistake, I would have never done it. So make sure that, you know, you, if you feel like writing a book, the information is out there. So I got two books. One's called Keeping Score, What You Need to Know to Make Your Credit Score Grow. And the other one is called The Secret to Breaking the Broke Code. And I just talk about, you know, how to go from broke to abundance, how to get your credit right, you know, how to use leverage your credit as leverage so that you can start making millions of dollars. Um, and so if you know anything about me, I own a real estate company. I own the largest black owned real estate firm in California. Um, I'm a cannabis investor, house flipper. Um, I be, you know, I have to listen to my, my rap because I'd be forgetting all the stuff I do. I'm a 
businesswoman to go get. I don't know. But anyway, um, I uh, have a few books. I own a, a, a dope ass co-working space in uh, Sacramento, California, where we have a membership, a members only group where you can uh, become a member of this space and you can just go out there and, and utilize the space. It is a dope and amazing space. So go to the coopspot.com. Check it out. You could be a member if you're in California. Or if you're out of California, you could be a virtual member and just be a part of it. And so we have a lot of amazing things that are getting ready to come up um, in the co-op spot. We got um, some celebrity interviews. We have interviews with thought leaders. We have a lot of stuff that it, that's getting ready to pop out with that. So go to the coopspot.com and check it out. But I just believe in having multiple revenue streams. It's important for your life. So you never rest on your own laurels. Never get comfortable because if COVID has taught you anything, it should have told you that you can't depend on one revenue stream, one revenue source. You can't depend on the government because government ain't going to take care of you. The little stimulus check that they gave you was what? How long was it able to take care of you? You probably probably get shoes that were more expensive than that. So just just keep that in mind, people, as we're talking about building wealth. And and I know it's like, a you know what? Building wealth is kind of like a, 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 a word that kind of gets played out. But really, that's my mission. That's why I call myself a wealth activist, because I want to see people that look like you that are look everybody. I want to see you get into a better position. Forbes had an article and I did a I did a, um, a TED talk on it. Uh, Google my TED talk talk. It's called Google that shit. Um, but Google Constance Carter TED talk. And I talked about how Forbes, uh, there was a Forbes article that said in the year 2053, that black median wealth was going to be zero. And then not far behind it, Hispanic median wealth is going to be at a zero too. Why our, while our white counterparts, their wealth soared, ours was dwindling. And so that's a real problem. So when I talk about building wealth, that's a very, very real thing for me. It is. And it's my life's mission. It's my life's work. And, and real estate, I'm so glad that I'm in real estate because 80% of wealth in this country is generated through real estate. 90% of wealth is passed intergenerationally. So I'm in the business where I'm helping people not just to get into homes, but I'm helping people to really change their lives. And once you get that first home, it's something that you could pass down. Can't pass an apartment down. Some people talk about her, like Ray J was talking on, on one of his lives, talking about, I would never buy a home because all of the work and all the stuff, I, you know, I ain't got, it. that's not generational wealth thinking. For people like me and you, we ain't got Ray J money where he got millions that he could pass that down. But how can we build wealth? What's, well, what's the easiest way that we can build? It's through real estate. And if something breaks down, guess what? You can have a you can get a home warranty. I my house, I got an older house. My house was built in 1989. And so crap breaks down all the time. I get overwhelmed sometimes. But I have a home a home warranty company. They come over, they fix my pipes, they fix my garage door opener, they they re, they replace my AC, they replace my my uh, my water heater. If anything happens. So there are things that that can help you in that in the event that uh, something breaks down. But I want you to get it in your head that building wealth starts with real estate. Having multiple revenue streams is also important. So if you have an idea, execute on that thing, you guys, seriously. And it's possible. I will tell you a million and million, million times that with the power of the Internet, you we have so much access and we have such an advantage that has really leveled the playing field in in so many ways. We're not depending upon other people to to do things for us in order to make it happen. We're not depending on brick and mortar. We don't have to worry about somebody giving us a loan. We can do all this shit on Google and we can make millions. There are people that are making billions. And there are people who are making millions in 2020, 2021 that are going to be broke next year because they don't know what to do with that money after they've made the millions. So there's so many, so much opportunity out here, and I don't want you to fall asleep on the opportunity. I'm actually doing a, a, um, a training call from broke to woke tomorrow night, live from the co-op spot. This is the, the members only club that I have in Sacramento, this dope ass place. So if you're in the area, come out and join me because I'm going to have some of my agents that are there. They're going to be able to uh, talk one-on-one -on -one with you. But if you're not going to, if you can't be there, I'll also have a Zoom. So go to uh, ConstanceCarter.com slash events and sign up from broke to, to from broke to woke because I'm going to my gift to you my gift to the community is to help put you in position so that you can create wealth and legacy for your families it's not a hard thing to do it's what I teach to my kids and if you teach anything to your kids teach them how to be self-sufficient and independent and not depend on no government 
I promise you that's the worst thing that you could do. My daughter is, um, is an entrepreneur. She has her own marketing company. She just signed a, well, I can't tell you which celebrity, but she just signed a contract with a major celebrity that she's going to be doing their branding and marketing. And my son, I told you, I mentioned in the beginning, if you were on here, he has his own stock group where he teaches people stock tips. I'm teaching my children entrepreneurship. So the things that I teach you here, I want you to teach it to other people because the only way that we're going to be able to close a wealth gap and build our communities is if we share. So on Fly Nubian Queen and every other platform that you see this on right now, make sure that you're sharing. So share this out. Also, people will come on here. You might have 15, you know, thumbs downs because people just come on here and hit the thumbs down. But make sure that you're hitting the thumbs up because we want people to actually see this. We want it to get the visibility. F them haters. Put your thumbs up and make sure you're sharing this link out because, again, the only way that we can really create and, and build our community is if we're sharing the knowledge of the information. Okay? So Constance Carter, I own Catalyst Real Estate Professionals. I got the receipts to show you what I've done and what I'm doing. And I'm still working and hustling. It's, it's not a game, you guys. And I'm tired as hell. And my boy Robert Antoinette has challenged me because he said I was getting fat. So I'm supposed to lose 10 pounds by Sunday. I'm down four. So six more pounds. I got some coffee right here. And I'm going to the gym after this because ain't nobody going to beat me. It's not a game. I will run 25 miles before I pay that man money. We got a we got a money wager on it too. So anyway, let's get to it. Um, you guys, okay. Glad you guys are in the comments again. As like I said in the beginning, make sure you're putting what you do inside the comments box because this every time I come on here, it's always a networking opportunity for you. So I want you to um, get business. I want you to work with one another. I want to build a community. So put what you do, and then that'll allow other people to be able to contact you. So um, Gwendolyn said, what's the Zoom again? Make sure you go to ConstanceCarter.com slash events and sign up for Broke to Woke. All right. All right. Lamoon said, do I respond? I think Lamoon said that they DM me or something. I'm not sure, but I I, I don't know. Um, so uh, let's talk about credit. So, so I got a book called Keeping Score, What You Need to Know to Make Your Credit Score Grow. All right. And this is a best-selling book. Talk about different things, different ways to, to increase your credit. It was so cute. This uh, somebody on my timeline. Well, if you go ahead and look at the reviews, the reviews are really good. Um, they're all mostly, mostly all positive. People say the books change their life, and it's a very simple book. If you have people in high school, they can read this book and understand credit. I I wrote it so simple. I wrote the letter so big, um, so you could sit down and read it in an hour. It is not a hard book to read. I mean, it's super easy, but it's super comprehens compre comprehensible comprehensible. And, uh, I mean, it just give, it educates you, but then I have an online training program. Like if you need a little bit more, I got an online training program at mywealthroadmap.com, And, um, that will get you a little bit more like you have this, but some people, and I have a workbook too. Let's, oh, hold on one second. Here's my workbook. I have a workbook you could do with the online training program. It's called build credit to build wealth. The blueprint up to uh, for a wealthy credit score and i give you homework where you can specifically um have homework assignments for your particular credit it's dope if i must say so myself and then the online training program i help you not only with your credit but your business credit too so as you are building your businesses you got to understand how business credit works too so a lot of people i'm a certified credit expert i did that after i filed bankruptcy so just so you know if you if you've never heard my story I didn't come from um, uh, with a, a silver spoon in my mouth. I, I came from very humble beginnings, but um, just uh, 20, in 2009, 2010, I filed bankruptcy. Um, I had a 379 credit score. Uh, I um, was broke and broken and, you know, bad credit and, you know, bad habits. And I had to really rebuild myself and rebuild my life. And um, I went from this to, um, you know, now where we are, where I am today with the real estate company and all those things. But it took a lot of work. It took a lot of training. It took a lot of manifesting. It took a lot of speaking and, and believing all the things that I live by, a lot of praying, man, God is great. But, um, I took that information that I learned and I wrote books. I use my hardships as the blueprint to help other people. And that's what you should do. Like everything that you go through, it's not about you. It's not about, you know, God, oh God, oh, I'm suffering and I'm struggling. It's really about how can I help other people to be able to live their best life? Cause somebody might need to see what you going through and see that you're able to push past so that they can make it to the other side. You guys, 
And so that's the reason why I wrote these books. Somebody told me to write the books and I was, and I did, I'm just an executor. So, um, the online training program at mywealthroadmap.com go online. You might be more of an audio auditory learner or a visual learner. That's what that is for. So you can go online and you can get all the information. Um, a few people said that they just listened to it every day while they were driving to and from work. And then they will go and do the, do the, um, the work when they got to work and built their credit score, 200 points, increase their credit score, 200 points. You could also take the, the information from the training and become an credit expert and then use that to monetize. So that's what some people are doing. I, I was just like, wow. So what some people start doing is they learn so much about credit. They start, they took the information and then they started helping other people, they credit and charging them to, to repair other people's credit, multiple revenue streams. Right. So there's so many things that you could do, but I, I really, again, I want to impart on all of you tonight, um, that you need to just create a lane for yourself. And I don't care if there's a hundred people that's doing the same thing. They ain't you. I don't care if somebody took your idea and they executed on it. They not you. I don't, if, if God gave you that vision, then guess what? There's still a lane for you. So never, don't ever get discouraged. Don't ever think that anything has to be perfect because it doesn't. If you are waiting for perfection, it will never happen. You'll make mistakes. Have you ever heard of the story uh, about 409? Y'all use 409? Y'all use 409? The, I use 409 to clean my cabinets, my, my countertops. The reason why it's called Formula 409 is because it took 408 tries before they got that formula right. WD-40, it took 39 tries, 40 tries before they got it right. Thomas Edison said, it's not that um, I failed 10,000 times. I just found 10,000 ways that simply don't work. So don't worry about things being perfect and you failing the first time. As long as you got breath in your body, you can keep doing it. And that's what I do. Trust me. Everything does not come out perfect. I, I, I produce some raggedy ash. Okay. But I'm just not afraid to, to try, try new things. I look like a fool. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. And if it does great, but it's not like I just came out and just had these bestsellers. I've had many flops before this, you know? So, um, just, I, I want to encourage you today as you're listening, like there's, there's something that you have on the inside of you that your, your dreams really need to take flight. And you just need to just double down and execute on them so that they can happen. Okay. So I'm going to tell you about this credit hack because I am a credit guru. You know, credit turns me on. It does. I like to see credit reports. I look at credit reports and it's just so tantalizing. Uh, my, my mom and dad used to always talk about credit when I was little. And they used to always talk about what they couldn't get or what they can't, you know, because bad credit, we got bad credit. And I didn't know what bad, what credit was. I just knew it was ruining our lives. So I vowed. When I became grown, I would never have bad credit. And then life happened. And I went from 800 to 379. And I had to dig my way out of that. And so I did that um, and wrote the book so that now I could show you how to do the same thing. I, I, I Don't ever be ashamed of where, where you came from. Don't be ashamed if that's where you are right now. Because just because that's where you are don't mean that's where you're going to stay. Understand. I've been in many situations. I remember my friend Keisha, she was like, man, you going through a lot. I was going through some hardships. I'm in my twenties, just had my daughter. And she was like, my daughter wasn't even a year. So I guess I'm 23, 24. And I remember Keisha was like, dang, how are you so positive? And I was like, because this ain't my destination. Where I am is not where I'm about to be. And if you could shift your mindset to understand that whatever you're going through today, and I don't know who I'm speaking to, I don't know why God has placed that on my heart, but whatever you're going through today doesn't mean that's where you're going to land and where you're going to be forever. So just know, be encouraged today. That wherever you are, it's not your final destination because you still have breath in your body and you still have an opportunity to change your situation. All right. All right. All right. So let me, let's give me, I'm gonna give you just a couple of simple credit hacks because I'm going to be on the broke to woke tomorrow night. So go to constancecarter.com slash events. And I want you to sign up. It's going to be a whole series. So we're going to do it. Uh, maybe, uh, maybe next month, maybe month after that, you know, I'd be getting bored and tired and stuff, but I really want to help my people. So that's why I'm doing it. And I've, it's $25. And the only reason, and it's, again, this is my gift to the community because I charge thousands of dollars to consult with. Okay. So this is my gift. The only reason why I put a, a price on it is because sometimes people, they don't value things that are free or 
um, you know, if they have to pay for it, they're going to show up. So I don't want people just taking up space if they're not going to, I don't want people just signing up if, if they're not going to show up. So it's $25, but for the amount of knowledge that I have and what you're getting, it's immeasurable. Okay. So go to ConstanceCarter.com slash events, sign up for broke to woke. And uh, we're going to tell you, I'm going to talk to you about how to build your credit and we're going to have like a, a two-way dialogue and then how to start investing in real estate. All right. <clears throat> All right. So two credit hacks. Let me tell you about two, two credit hacks that a lot of people don't know about. Um, and you may, you may not. A lot of people don't. I know just in, in my conversations with people, have you guys ever heard of rental karma or have you ever heard of using your rent to increase your credit score? Right. So there are so many things and I, and I talk about it in my book, but there are so many things that, um, that, that you, that you can do to boost your credit score. So say you've had collections and you have all these negative things on your credit. Well, if you've been paying your rent on time, you could ask, you could use your landlord, this uh, rental car. And then there's a few other places that will take your rent, rent history and they'll put it on your credit report and they'll report it. And then that's going to increase your credit score. Mm. Easy. And then there's another app called Extra. And this just came out. And I did a lot of extensive research on this. And this is not in my book because this just came out. I just found out about this. It's called Extra. And what they do is they take your debit purchases. So they 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 are able to boost your credit score with your debit. That's pretty good. And great reviews and everything. I haven't seen anything negative about it yet. I haven't used it. I don't know anybody who has. Uh, you know, I encourage you to um, do some research, but the research that I've done, it looks great. It looks amazing. So some of you can't get credit cards. When I first filed bankruptcy, I had to get secured credit cards. But some people I've seen, they cannot get a secure credit card. But you may have um, a debit card. You might have a bank account. Well, what this company does is it, it takes your, your um, credit based upon like your balances and stuff that you have inside your bank. And they'll give you a spending limit. And so the things that you buy every day from your debit, They'll give you so much and they'll report it at the end of the month to the credit bureaus. Boom. <sighs> Easy. And it's called extra. So those two, two hacks that I wanted to share with you tonight are rental karma, utilize, um, utilizing your rent to increase your credit score, your rental history. If you don't, and, and, and if, and this is, if you've paid after the fifth, that's fine. If you paid on the 15th, as long as you haven't paid 30 days late, you could do it. So if they're, they're only going to ask if you paid 30 days late and if, they, and if you haven't, they'll report it. That's, that's easy credit. And then the second thing is this extra, Google it, GTS, Google that shit, extra. And they, um, they utilize your, um, uh, your, your payments from your debit to build your credit. So there's so many other things. Um, that are out there and we're going to talk about it tomorrow night on, um, on, uh, from broke to woke. So make sure you sign up. Uh, but it's, it's some pretty, it's a pretty, it's some pretty amazing things that are going on. I want, again, credit is the first piece because you need your credit as leverage. Cause so you can build wealth because guess what? Wealthy people, they don't use their own money when building. When you talk about your boy, Donald Trump, he's not, I mean, he's a billionaire, but he's not using his own money to buy more. He's using other people's money, OPM. So you need to have good credit in order to use OPM. So if you got credit and you got no money, you're in a better position. If you have a lot of money and credit, you're not going to get as far as if you have very little money and great credit. So let's get your credit together so that we can use it as leverage to build wealth. Of course, there's things that you can do with bad credit if you got money. But I mean, you're going to pay more in, in rates and more in fees. And so a lot of your money is going to be eaten up by the rates and the fees. So you need to have good credit and then you need to start investing. Those are the two things that I want to impart on you. And it's very simple. I'm not trying to give you anything over, overly complex. I'm keeping it real basic. How can I, number one, help you get your credit right? And number two, start investing so that you can create wealth for your families. There were so many uh, opportunities that we didn't have as African-Americans um, in this country because of redlining, because of discrimination, because of predatory lending. So we're, we're right now we're in a position where um, we can get into the game. 
And of course, you know, these big banks, Wells Fargo was sued for predatory lending. Bank of America was sued for discriminatory practices. And so there are still huge institutions out there that are discriminating against you. Catalyst Real Estate, the cool thing about us is we're a mortgage broker and we're a mortgage lender. So we are actually a bank. Um, Carter Financial Solutions. Our company is actually a bank. I worked like two years to get um, to get that, um, to get us to become lenders. That took me a very long time, but we do both because we want to be able to give people more opportunities. We're a bank. I'm a bank just like Wells Fargo. I have a credit. I have, I have millions of dollars where I lend people, but you have to have specific underwriting, um, uh, guidelines. I can't, you know, of course I can't lend. I, I have, I have to have un, uh, specific guidelines. However, getting your credit right is going to put you in a position to be able to get the financing that you need. And so that's what we do at Catalyst. Our mission is just simply to close the wealth gap, to simply help people. And so getting on, getting in, and getting in the game is muy importante, and it's not a hard thing to do. I promise you. I promise you. So get on the Broke Talk. I'm going to look at uh, some questions because I I see a lot of comments on here. Um, I see Leanna. Oh, Norfolk. Okay, I didn't see it. Norfolk, Virginia, tax warrior. Oriary, who's trying to break into the cannabis industry in the financial sector. If you guys need help with your taxes, hit me up. Boom. I love it. See, um, and so for those of you who just tuned in, I always tell people to share what they do because I want people to have an opportunity to network with other people. Um, who needs to, Constance? He needs to, you look great. Oh, did somebody say something about me? Oh, you're talking about Robert. Yeah, yeah. You remember Rob. Yep, yep, yep. He, 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 he's, he's being a butthole. Um, Lemon Hoon is a community leader and a cosmetologist. Um, I like to start a food truck business, taking a culinary course right now, but it's super expensive. How can we make it considering if you are against the, you know, what? I don't know. Are you talking about vaccines? I don't know. Um, Nicole says she needs life insurance. So please reach out to her, Leanna. Um, Type. Oh, tax repair. Okay. I'm a case manager, preschool director. That's what's up. Um, See, look at Leanna getting business. Um, again, I talked last week about insurance. Black people, we have more insurance placed on our cell phones than we have on our lives. That's a shame, statistically speaking. So we'll insure our cell phones before we insure our lives and leave our families with a bunch of debt. Insurance is so important to keeping wealth in your family, to creating wealth and keeping wealth. I've seen some bad things happen. My daughter's father. Oh yeah, I seen that. Oh. Um, hey Constance, check out our beauty salon here in Stockton. Dope. Also our website. Thank you for putting that on there. Thank you. We got a, a beauty salon. Okay. Um, I'm a broker. I'm a baker's assistant. Also employed at Bath and Body Works Warehouse. I plan to start a biz hopefully soon. Anything you need. I I built Catalyst on the internet. You guys. I, I built my foundational stuff on the internet and some people aren't like me where you, you may need a class to teach you. And those are things that we're going to do at the co-op spot. So if you're a member of the co-op spot, you don't even have to be, um, a, a member here, but if you're a virtual member, we're going to be doing trainings on getting the SBA loan. We're going to be doing trainings on how to set up your entity, how to build your business, all of those things. So if you're a member, a member, a virtual member, you get access to all of those things that everybody else is going to have to pay for. You get access for free. So, um, we're going to be coming up with that stuff. So go to the coopspot.com and, um, multiple streams and, um, sign up to become, if you're not in, in the area, become a virtual member. And it's a lot cheaper, of course, but you're going to have access to the resources and the community. Um, let's see y'all. I think, let me see. I tell people all the time, we will throw interceptions in life. The failure is not throwing the ball down the field. I love it. Uh, she said, girl, I'm trying my hardest not to do something strange for a piece of change. The struggle is real. I hear you. Uh, don't talk about black men. I have life insurance for 11 years. I want to cancel it because I it's term and I borrowed on it and I'm paying interest on it. But it seems as though the interest is getting higher every year. So talk to Leanna or Leanna reach out to this person. Cause they may need to, uh, we are licensed in Texas. Yes, sir. Go to catalystrealestate.com and apply. We'll hook it. We'll hook it up. Um, uh, black women fronted white man money. Okay. If that's what you think the brown horned, but guess what? I'm getting my money, homie. <laughs> um, can I buy in today's market? Absolutely. 
And let me explain something to you because a lot of people are like, I'm just going to wait until the housing market crashes. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about those things. Okay. So say the housing market crash, right? You're not going to see a 2008 housing market crash. You're just not going to see it. You're not going to see um, properties drop 50%. It's not going to happen because number one, um, there are things put into place that they didn't have before. And the government, the, the federal government is not going to allow that to happen because the housing market affects the global, not just the national economy, but the, the global economy. What happens with our houses here? It affects what's what happening in China. It affects what's happening in Europe, our housing market. So you're, you're always going to see the housing market is cyclical. It goes up and down. It does. So you're going to see some correction. You're going to see some dropping in the housing market. But will you see a 50% drop in the housing market? I doubt it very seriously. I don't have a crystal ball to see what's going to happen. But I could almost hang my hat on the fact that I know that we're not going to see that type of drop. Okay. But if it does, so you're waiting on the market to drop. I'm waiting on the market to drop before I buy a house. Okay. Consider this. If the market drops, so say there's a dip in the market and you lose $50,000. Say you lose $100,000 in equity. Right now, the rates are 2%. But if the if the if the prices go down, the the uh, interest rates typically go up. So say you lose one hundred thousand dollars in equity, or the houses are one hundred thousand dollars cheaper. Yeah, I got the house for a lot cheaper. But if the rate is five percent as opposed to two percent, you're actually paying more. Number one, you're paying more for um that that uh it, that the payment is going to be more on a five percent than it would be on a two percent. And overall, because it's amortized over thirty years, you're going to pay more for the house. So you're not paying less for the house. So Sitting on the sidelines waiting is not is 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 dumb. If you can get into a house that you could afford today, why not? Why wait? And you can get a bomb ass interest rate, and you know that your payments are not going to go up. I I short sold some property back ten years ago, and I regret it. It dropped. I only owe two two fifty on it. It dropped to like one sixty, but it's worth five hundred thousand dollars now. So if I would have held on and I could have afforded it, that's the biggest thing. I could have afforded it and kept renting it out because my mortgage payment was still pretty reasonable. But I did what everybody else did and I went ahead and sold it and I short sold it. But I should have held on to it because today, had I been smart enough to do it, and I'm telling you my mistake, I'd have a house that would have $200,000 in equity right now. Bad idea. So even if the market does dip, it's going to go back up. And if I would have held on to it, I had a good rate. I'll be sitting, I'll be in a better position than I am today. That's my own personal story. Um, so you talking about the white man front and black man. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Don't help. They also don't help the black man. Well, help yourself, brother. Shit. Don't talk about it. Be about it. I'm so sick of people talking about what the white man ain't doing. You know what? My, my mentor, Dr. George Frazier, he's going to be at the co-op spot January 15th too. Oh, by the way, you want to be there. Dr. George Frazier is dope as hell. But one of the things he said is he said, you know what? Black people are always so worried about white people. White people ain't worried about black people. You know what white people are worried about? They households, they community, they money. They ain't worried about your black ass. But we spend so much time worried about what white people are doing that we can't even get our stuff together. This, that comment right there from, from whatever Black Hornet or whatever your name was is typical of us worrying about what everybody else is doing and not tending to our own. Yes, systematic racism is real. Yes, discrimination and all of these predatory practices are real. Worry about us, be one. And if you be one, then you ain't got to worry about nobody else. I don't even worry about none of that stuff, homie. Whatever, uh, what else? I support black businesses. Watch what you eat is important. You know, I'm gonna do that. Right now, I'm just gonna starve myself till I lose this 10 pounds, okay? Thanks. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, what else? Uh, anybody else? Uh, oh, and let's not forget housing for students. Older students return back to school. Okay. I like it. That's a great uh, revenue stream. Two years to get out of mortgage if you do not agree with it. I don't know what you're talking about. I agree with that statement. I'm so tired of hearing it. Man, ain't you? I mean, get it together, Black folks, really. Uh, let me just show you really quick about the wealthy conversations that we're getting ready to have with George Frazier. Um, George Frazier, again, one of the most prolific thought leaders in this country. Uh, Dr. Boyce Watkins is going to be here on in February. Uh, George Frazier. And I actually, actually, I got this video that I did, but I haven't even put it out there yet. So I'm just giving you a sneak peek of who Dr. Frazier is because he's dope as hell. Um, but I haven't even, I haven't even made the tickets for sale yet. But let me just show you really quick because George Frazier is my man. Catalyst Community Connections presents Wealthy Conversations. 
featuring two times best-selling author, TEDx speaker, and wealth activist Constance Carter. Interviewing some of the most prolific thought leaders and celebrities in the nation. Yes, I am black. <laughs> People will change when they feel the heat. So you're going to feel a little heat up in here. You cannot be black and proud and niggas too. One night only. Get your ticket today. Y'all, I ain't even put that out there yet. Y'all the first ones to see it. George Fraser said, you cannot be black and proud and niggas too. Mic drop. He could have just sat down right there and I'd have been full all night. That he is, he is one of the people who has changed my life and my perspective on wealth and how to uh, create wealth in our community. Uh, George Frazier is so prolific. So he's going to be at the co-op spot. Um, and if you're a member of the co-op spot, even if you're a virtual member, you have the opportunity to tune in virtually for that, but fly in, be in the room. One of the biggest game changes for me, you guys, and I'm going to be on my soapbox real quick. One of the biggest game changes for me is being in the room. I spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on my personal and professional development. That's why I know people like Dr. George Frazier and I can call him up and say, hey, can you come out here in January and just come talk to my people? That's why I can call uh, Dr. Boyce Watkins and say, hey, Dr. Boyce, can you come out to my space and and, uh, and 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 hang out with me? I can call Ray J. He was coming to our Wealth Empowerment Summit last year when, when before COVID hit. I can call different people to come out here and, because I spend money and I get in the room with certain people. Invest in yourself. Get in the room. You want to be in the room more than anything. So... I got to get this on the website. I, I don't even have it up yet, y'all, but uh, it'll be on constancecarter.com slash events. Maybe tomorrow I'll, I'll put it on Eventbrite, but y'all are the first people. I just got it. I just got, oh, excuse me. I just got really excited about it. I'm sorry. I got excited about it because it's going to be so effing dope, but it's going to be at the co-op spot in, uh, in uh, Sacramento. And if you can fly out for it, that's what you want to do. You want to be in the room and we're going to have, we're going to make some amazing things happen, y'all. We're going to make some amazing things happen. So, y'all, listen, I love you. Let me see if there's any other questions. Good evening. Hey, Constance, I'm here from Seattle. Um, you as reliable for credit repair, blah, blah, blah. I think I qualify for student loan forgiveness, but afraid charge off uh, capital credit. For, I don't know what you're talking about, but I don't. I believe that paying somebody for credit repair is a waste of your money unless, you know, there's somebody who's taking my training. But I mean, no, seriously, if you don't have time for it, I could see it. But really all they're doing is disputing things. And there's a certain way that you have to dispute. And I talk about it in my book. But what a lot of people, a lot of these credit repair companies do is they do what I call the spray and pray method. They just dispute anything and hoping it falls off. But what they don't realize is certain things, they're, they're waking up the dead in some instances. They're messing some things up in some other instances. And so there is actually a, a method to the madness that you really want to be careful. So go to my website, my wealth world, go to constancecarter.com. All my information is on there. Um, my books, um, my online training. I teach you all of that stuff and then come to broke to, from broke to woke tomorrow night. And then we can have an engaging conversation about how to build your credit, how to use it as leverage so that you can start building wealth, y'all. But y'all listen, Dr. George Frazier about to be here in January and it's going to be lit. You heard me. Now, I will be at the All Black National Convention next week with Dr. Boyce. I'll be out there. I'll be on a couple of panels. I'll be speaking. So make sure you guys come out to Florida. Be in the room. That's how you um, can get connections with certain people. This, this copy working now. I'm about to go to the gym after this. But make sure you go to the All Black National Convention. I'm going to be there. I'm going to be in the building. It's going to be an amazing. I'm going to be coming. See, that's another thing. That's another reason why I got to lose some weight because I'm going to Cancun to the Soul Fest on Sunday. And then I'm leaving there and I'm going to uh, the All Black National Convention. But um, I might have a little tan when you see me in person. You know, if you come out there, um, I might have a little bikini. Oh, y'all ain't going to see that. The bikini uh, bikini tan. Y'all ain't going to see that. But anyway. Um, but I'll be at the all black national convention. So hopefully you guys can be there in Florida, um, the 29th through the first, make sure you are there. But again, get in where you fit in. I, you know, I like, I think zoom is cool. I think online is cool. It, it served a purpose, right. You know, when we needed to, to be distanced, there's nothing in the world, nothing in the world, like getting in the room 
If you can get in a room with some people, you can make some shit happen. Word up. My business, the reason why I have a multi-million dollar business is being in the room and masterminding with some of the most smartest people. I can't find these people where I'm at every day. But when I go out there and I surround myself, millionaires and billionaires, you can go on my uh, YouTube page. I don't got a whole lot of views, but go on my YouTube page and see the people that I've interviewed. And a lot of those people that I've interviewed have been from George Frazier's conference. They've been from other conferences. I know Lisa Nichols. Look, I'm name dropping now, but I do because I'm in the room. I met Lisa Nichols. I've traveled all over the world with Lisa Nichols. I know Les Brown. Les Brown came to my office, hung, hang out with me. I can call him on the phone right now. I'll call Lisa on the phone right now. But it's simply nothing more than being in the room and investing in myself. So just make sure that when you see an event that we do, make sure you're there. Dr. Boyce, make sure you're there. Get in the room so that you can be around people who are much, much smarter than you. All right. Again, put your information in the chat box uh, where you're from and then what kind of business uh, product or service that you have so that other people can contact you. Now, if you're on Facebook, make sure you go over to uh uh, YouTube and follow the fly Nubian queen. And, and you can go look at these comments um, in the live chat so that if there's somebody that you want to contact, go over there. And then if you're on YouTube, go over to Facebook, go to my page, go to constancecarter.com, um, or excuse me, go to Constance Carter, um, uh, Facebook page and see some of the chats. There may be people in there that you need to network with. This is the best method that I can see where you can network without actually being in the room right here on these broadcasts, okay? So always know every time I come live, I want you guys to network with one another. More importantly, I think it's even better to get in the room, okay? Now, I love you. Make sure you go to broke to woke Go to ConstanceCarter.com slash events and get in the room tomorrow night. If you are local, come to Sacramento, come to the co-op spot, this dope-ass, amazing, beautiful co-working space that I happen to own, Black-owned, Black excellence, but everybody's welcome. Or if you can get online, I'll be online as well. All right? Yeah, it's CC, CEO. Want to change your life? Come see me, yo. I'm going to teach you how to build up wealth for your family. Not just for yourself. I'm a bestseller, a house flipper, a businesswoman, a gold getter, a big investor, a gold builder. I can teach you to get richer like millions, baby. You really about to fill your savings. You about to have multiple streams to pass your children, baby. Let me teach you to get your credit on track in the long run. You'll make it all back at Catalyst.